yesterday i summed up the chapter does it require do you think we should go for the reading again basically reading is the crux of understanding the chapter if you have read the chapter then very good if you think you you cannot read you will not read then we can do its reading again what do you think hmm okay 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 can you will you read children or should, should we do the reading in the class okay story and narrated yesterday okay we can discuss this story again through the questions okay those children who have got a little bit of doubt of the story we can discuss that but do its reading at home very very thoroughly okay Huh? Uh, now the children, those who are present, they are Gursirat Singh, Amritpal, Arshdeep Singh, Jatin, Dhruv Agarwal, Pramod. Pramod might not be present. Let's see him. Pramod, you are already unmuted. Yes, beta. Good morning, Pramod. Pramod. Pramod, yes. The sounds are coming from his house. Yeah, he might not be sitting near it. Parmodi, yes, bete. Good morning. Okay, I've muted him. So he's absent. Parmodi is absent. Ah, uh, yes. Present, ma'am. But how can he unmute himself? Parmodi, yes. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, turn on your video for one minute. Parmod, turn on your video for just one second. Parmod, can you? Because I think it's not Parmod. Maybe it was a. Amar, maybe it was Amar. Amar, I think it is you. So, anyways, today Amar will also learn English, which he never did in eleventh standard. Okay, uh, Albert Einstein at school, but keep yourself muted. Albert Einstein at school. So, this is the story about Albert Einstein when he was in the school. What kind of student he was. main thing is that albert was a great learner and he was fond of what kind of chocolate is and he was fond of all subjects maybe history maybe geography because in the chapter we see him uh having an argument with a history teacher but doesn't mean that he did not like history he was very fond of history he liked history a lot he liked geography also he liked all subjects but what he did not like he did not like yeah he didn't like cramming he didn't like violence he was a he was a boy who was always at peace with himself and he wanted peaceful environment all around said spread so he was a great learner fond of all subjects despite being a great learner he had an argument with a teacher not because he hated history but because he did not approve of the way he was being taught he did not approve of the educational strategies of that time which expected the students to cram the facts he wanted god bless you he expected the students to he he expected that the school or the or the education system should not focus upon cramming or learning of facts rather the focus of education should be upon insight formation what is insight formation that you should be able to think analyze and then come up with something new 
that you should be able to have your own ideology that is that should be the purpose of education something which doesn't help you think that is not education something which doesn't allow you to analyze your own thoughts that is not education something which doesn't prompt you to bring something new that is not education something which doesn't enable you to create something or innovate something that is not education okay so this is what he was telling the history teacher he was just sharing his ideology and the history teacher was not able to understand him and considered what he was dis discussing with him he considered it to be a to be an argument and even punished him what kind of punishment it was like he he told him to stay back for one some more time in the school and here the irony was that the teacher knew that the punishment was useless even then he gave him the punishment so the purpose of education is sorry the purpose of punishment is always reform improvement in behavior of the student but when the punishment is not making children realize their mistake it's not a punishment then that punishment should be done away with okay it should be avoided but his teacher could not from that interaction of albert einstein with his teacher we at least come to infer or we at least come to deduce, uh, deduce that albert einstein was very fond of learning of all subjects maybe it was history but yet he was not ready to cram the things as such because he believed that merely cramming or learning a few facts is not education though he had a clear vision though he was very confident about what he was speaking yet he was not happy with the school why because he was helpless no one was listening to him he was not able to convince others with his ideology you can convince the wise people but somebody who has uh, who, who doesn't want to listen to you you cannot convince him or her okay if you want to convince something of something good then you need to have the uh, you know sensible audience with you then you must have a sensible listener with you only then you can convince that person otherwise um, you keep on beating about the bush the other side will be doing its own job okay in order to convince the convince others you need to have sensible people with you otherwise you cannot that's why there are certain debates which go on and on even when we know that there are certain things which which have just one solution but that one solution is never possible okay people keep on coming up with their debatable or you can say argumentative facts which have otherwise basically no ground but they go on and on because you cannot convince them because they are not that sensible so here albert einstein could not convince the teacher at even with what he wanted then how can we imagine in this world that the that the whole public all people will be convinced with one sim, single ideology the world will go on and on with the ideologies of different people the ideologies can be good ones the ideologies can be negative ones also isn't it so albert einstein we were talking about that he was a great learner despite that he would it he was very upset he was very frustrated he was on the verge of becoming depressed and he never wanted to go to school now the question is why didn't he want to go to school usually the children who don't want to go to school are the ones who don't want to study either sometimes now we have seen many there are in our class also there are many students who don't want to come to school but doesn't mean that they are uh, the ones who don't want to study some of them don't do anything else except studies in your class even they are uh, you know hardcore scholars they keep they don't even have one hour extra to spare okay they are always busy with their work and we know they are actually doing it okay so we were talking about like there are some students those who don't want to come 
some happen to be the ones those who don't want to study but there are some those who want to study but even then they don't want to come to school why don't they want to come to school because they think like what we what the school is teaching us we know that this is the one reason second thing they think like what whatever the school is teaching them we'll be able to we'll be able to manage it without going to school because they how will they manage because they their level is such they'll be able to manage okay so there are two kinds the one who want to study and are not coming to school second is those who don't want to study and don't come to school so albert was of which category first one he was he was too genius he was too good in studies that he found it useless to come to school even the math teacher admits math teacher says that i have got now i have nothing to teach you because whatever i knew i have given it to you so now you can go ahead and even the math teacher gives him a reference letter okay what kind of reference letter it was the reference letter where he stated it very clearly that this child can be admitted in the institute of higher studies because he was too good so he might have wrote, written very official language so it was a recommendation letter by the math teacher no math teacher no teacher will ever give a recommendation letter to the student unless and until the student is exceptionally genius like albert einstein many a times in our school also the children they are of the opinion like ma'am uh, i don't find it like it's very useful to be there in this class and listen to the teachers lectures because we know this all but in the ex in the exams in the end they get many marks deducted we have not uh, uh, we have not been able to uh, you know see any student so far the one who says that ma'am we know everything but they are not actually the ones whom we say ki yes beta we cannot teach you anything so far but albert was of that kind okay the teacher felt like yes this is a student who can be liberated from the clutches of the school rules and he was given a recommendation letter but before that there is one thing when this albert einstein was scolded by the teacher punished by the teacher albert was very unhappy now the point is why was he unhappy wrong answer wrong answer wrong answer my question is you can find that books are there with you it's on page number uh, i guess 3 or 2 or second uh, page after this after the teacher punished him the albert was very unhappy he didn't want to go to school now the question is why didn't he want to go to school why was he unhappy find out if you have got the books with you those who are online they can also find out like why so did he okay let everybody find out my question is why was albert einstein unhappy or why wasn't he interested in going to school hmm okay this okay this is okay one side of view one not wrong we can accept it it is correct also but there is something more to add to this what's the exact paragraph over there who will read out read out exactly the paragraph which i am asking you hmm kavya read till now no answer has come my question has no 
it has got no answer from this side my question is why was he not interested in going to school wrong this is what i'm saying albert einstein was far 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 above than these things genius don't bother about insult to genius yes this is what i'm saying who thinks these kinds of things kit whether it is my fault or his or her fault the people who have got less genius okay average people think like this like it's my fault or your fault or this fault these are the things of common of average people the people with very high iq like albert einstein don't think like this for them these kinds of things don't even exist they don't even remember so much yes that's the point it's written there let me show you where it's written that's why i'm saying reading is very important what's the page number 27 yeah yes now look there albert felt miserable look look there albert felt miserable when he looked there Yeah. Albert felt miserable when he left school that afternoon. Not that it had been a bad day. Most days were bad now, anyway. But because he had to go back to the hateful place the next morning as well, he only wished his father would take him away. But there was no point even in asking. He knew what the answer would be. He would have to stay until he had taken his diploma. So further also. So up till here, one point is. like why didn't he want to go to school again because it was the place where which did not which did not satisfy him why didn't the school satisfy him because whatever was being taught in the school that he already knew okay a person a learner like albert einstein was not interested in anything else except learning mind it for him the argument with the teacher the insult by the teacher the punishment by the teacher these things had no meaning he didn't bother for these but yes he simply wanted to leave the school because he he did not want to waste his time and he did not want to waste his parents money also and why didn't he want to continue the school because he had got everything what he had to get from that place when there is nothing for him to get anything from that place why will he go there that's the crux of this whole chapter first no don't tell like because he did not uh, he could not express himself because uh, uh, he did not have a good good uh, rapport with the teacher because the teacher always insulted him because this the only in the end one line answer is because he did not have anything more to learn from the school then why should he go there okay that is the one line crux of the chapter was uh, i'm always i always say the same thing and in the end ch children give the wrong answer because they you people will read from here and there okay one word answer in yes or no or whatever was albert einstein uh, uh was he this interested in history no no hai na big no you people are telling now but in the exams i don't know what will happen to students they will start saying yes he did not like history that's why he was uh, you know in argument with the teacher because you will read the things from here and there but remember he did not he liked history okay then uh, did he hate his teacher he had no time to hate anyone mind it learners you know they don't have time to hate somebody or to like somebody these are the things the prejudiced people are the are the uh, you can say idlers are prejudiced who are the idol who are prejudiced i like this i don't like this prejudiced people are like this they are idols idlers not very intelligent they say the things like this opinions beware of opinions beware of judgments don't judge anyone that is a simple rule of life if you want to become albert einstein okay great people don't remember much they forget but what do they remember they remember the essence 
they remember the crux of something got it so albert was such so albert was a genius he was fond of everything he had no problem with his teacher but yes he was not able to convince him he didn't mind that he hardly bothered like whether the teacher was convinced him with him or not but his purpose was to learn more and in the school there was nothing which he could learn more so he decided to leave the school decided to leave the school because he didn't want to waste his time or the money of his parents despite this he was in great tension he was stressed up why was he stressed up hmm? he was stressed up yes number 1 how to convince parents about his decision to leave the school he was his biggest tension was how to leave school what was his tension how to leave school so here from here one more side question why did he want to leave school because he did not want to continue with the same school which where he had nothing to learn more okay and moreover the place which was giving him uh, making him uh, stressed up day by day that kind of place might prove hazardous even for a person like albert einstein i'm coming to that point also okay then he decided that he would like to leave the school but his parents will not get convinced because usually the parents say that if unless you have got the diploma of that particular school how, how what will you do afterwards without without certificate you have no future this is what we usually think it's only albert einstein kinds of people who can go beyond that but becoming an albert einstein is not a difficult task but the only thing is that we lack those skills which albert had okay he decides to leave the school his friend helps him yuri yuri says okay you should leave the school usually we can get the friends who always either encourage us with our wrong doings right but this kind of yuri did not really encourage him about leaving the school for no reason yuri knew that albert einstein will be a big flop if he will continue the same school because he was becoming frustrated day by day in the school if you continue to be at some place which is which is very fatal for your mental and emotional well being then anyone can can become mad or depressed one day okay what makes us mad or depressed mad word chhod dete hain what makes somebody become depressed when the circumstances make you become helpless day by day when you think like there is no solution when you are continuously in a situation where you think like the things are out of your control then anyone can become depressed and same might have happened with albert einstein if he had not left the school today we might not have met the same we might not be reading about the same albert einstein if he had not left the school then getting his leaving the school was the best step of his life can somebody tell me like why i am saying that his leaving the school was the best step वॉट ही कुड हैव एक्सप्लोर्ड वेयर सो लिविंग द स्कूल इज अ बेटर ऑप्शन बिकॉज ही कुड हैव एक्सप्लोर्ड मोर दैट वी नो दैट ही एक्सप्लोर्ड ही डिड बट आई एम आस्किंग यू Why leaving the school is a bet is his best decision. But, uh, if it hmm. Hmm. And he would have become depressed. Yes, very good. Even you, if he had decided to stay back in the school, he would have been in the. in that uh, uh, mentally sick atmosphere daily daily he would have been sarcastically remarked by the teacher and when you are in the stressed up situation for most of the times you cannot think creatively 
the best way to kill somebody's uh, creation creativity is you you discourage the child you keep on scolding the person isn't it you give the child a little bit of motivation the children do wonders i think it happens with every child you might have also experienced the same in your life the moment your parents or teacher pamper you ki beta kya kaam kiya wow uske baad aapki performance level goes up but the moment you are snubbed ki 9 out of 10 aaye 10 kyun nahi aaye that very minute you feel uh, very bad aage se i won't even take 9 you feel some fear some children think like this though it's not a healthy sign but it's not in your hands sometimes you can't help it so if albert einstein had continued in that critical atmosphere for longer he might have become depressed one day he might have developed depression he might have been taking medicines for the treatment of depression later on and might have never been able to give us the albert einstein's theory of relativity we might not ever have got them so he was he decided to leave stress he decided to leave tension he decided to leave the place which gave him just depression or tension or stress nothing else or the best thing is he decided to leave which he did not require that's the main thing what gives us tension most of the times something which we don't want that gives us tension right now if i have if, if i am asked to uh, check 100 tests before going home i might develop headache because this is what i don't want right now because i might have something else to do right now okay so what gives us stress something which is unwanted and what was unwanted for einstein at that time which he did not want he did not want to learn maths here because he already knew this he didn't want to learn physics from there because he already knew this history what the teacher was teaching him he didn't want that he didn't believe in that then why to waste the time so he decided to leave the school got it in order to leave the school he, uh, school he wanted to take somebody's help he needed somebody's help yuri helped him yuri recommended him a doctor the one who was a psychiatrist and the psychiatrist uh the psychiatrist when he interacted with the psychiatrist that doctor got ready to give him the certificate there and then what do you infer of the doctor from here what do you think what kind of doctor it was options are very friendly doctor he kept his word a true psychiatrist number 4 he helped the student true psychiatrist he was able to understand that albert einstein actually was on the verge of depression got it himanshu why talking the psychiatrist was able to understand that if now i don't if i don't help him now then this wonderful child might develop depression in a few days how could he make out how could he say this thing that you will be depressed afterwards because unless and until somebody is so stressed up one will not go to the psychiatrist like this if i ask any child beta go to psychiatrist the child will laugh mam mai to bilkul theek hu the moment the child will say ki mam mai bilkul theek hu he is perfectly okay okay the but the child if the child says ki mam uh, which psychiatrist i should go to means the child needs to go there got it so the moment you accept something like this you know there is something and moreover this albert einstein was actually suffering what was he suffering from emotional trauma okay he was suffering from emotional trauma day by day physical trauma at the place where he lived there the landlady was always violent shouting the atmosphere in the slum was so you know miserable and atmosphere in the school then atmosphere at his lodgings it was equally miserable he had no chance of living a happy life at that place so the psychiatrist got ready to give him the certificate what was the certificate in which he stated that this boy should be given 6 months of leave 
because he is suffering from mental disorder nerve disorder got it though albert einstein was not suffering from nerve disorder but if he did not get the leave from school then he would definitely become depressed this is what the psychiatrist told the told yuri or albert einstein that you find out einstein got it so albert einstein got a got a certificate went to school he wanted to submit the certificate in the school to get leave but before he would apply for leave he was expelled by the principal on the ground that he was a nuisance on the ground that he was a disgrace for the class but that very child who was termed as a nuisance or a disgrace for the school proved to be the proved to be the most prolific scientist of the world so far yeah very nice so he added into the chapter which you never otherwise wanted okay now i guess children the chapter might be clear please prepare it for the test tomorrow tomorrow there will be an online class from 8:30 to 9:05 okay and the in the and afterwards i'll send you a test you people send me the pdfs online 8:30 to 9:05